Job's finished. Okay, YouTubers, on to the second set on El Nino, the storm, or the weather phenomenon, whatever. <laughs> the weather phenomenon. Yeah, well, it doesn't sound quite as menacing, but yes, uh, both these guys wearing black, trying to look as badass as possible. Flash listening to see if his mouse is making noise. Don't ask me why, but uh, yes, black is the new black. Uh, tons of teams are using uniforms that are black, and I think I've mentioned that in another commentary, but yes. Looking cool. These guys looking cool. At least they don't look like SDX, so that's good. Flash already twitching, and when Flash twitches, you know you're in trouble. So, Hoagie, you better come up with something here. On El Nino. Okay, four, three, two, one, zero. Zero. Here we go. Three player map. Let's get the colors and positions. Looks like. No. Hogel's, Hogel's actually going by the name Zerg. That's original. But down here at in orange at the 5 o'clock position is Flash. That means up at the 12 o'clock in brown. I hope they switch the colors. Nah, it doesn't look like they're going to. But yeah, Hoagie's up there once again. And I. Honestly? I don't think I've seen a, a Zerg versus Terran. No, I must have seen a Ver Zerg versus Terran on this map. I just can't remember what it was. It wasn't memorable enough for me to pull it out of my memory just now. My memory banks. But yes, I'm just so used to Protoss versus Zerg games these days. I just can't get used to watching this kind of matchup on these brand new maps. But hopefully that will change. we got a lot more Terrans coming up. So uh, yes, we're probably going to see a lot... A lot of Zergs, probably going to see a Zerg in every single uh, <laughs> end of the group, of the groups, but uh, yes, Flash is in here, one step away from getting into the round of 16 yet again. It d wouldn't seem like the round of 16 without the Terminator in there. But of course, every time Flash gets into a round of 16, he moves up, he plays excellently, and then he just comes out of nowhere with some epic fail. I remember casting his Incruit matches against GG play and just scratching my head thinking, what the hell is going on? Flash just screwing up left and right and looking at his uh, games against Best, what was his last game against Best, and uh, what was his epic game against Up Magic in the Batu OSL. That was pretty awesome. I'm trying to remember his games in the Bacchus OSL because I'm positive that he was in the Bacchus. I'm trying to remember back. Oh, yes, he was in the group with Jadong and Effort and Yellow, I think, and he just got uh, completely destroyed by everyone but Effort except for the end of that group when it didn't even matter if he won or not. He decided to win against Effort with a uh, two-racks build. But, uh, yes, Flash, once known as the Master of Cheese, has not gone for any cheesiness recently that I've seen. He might have gone for something in Pro League, but I don't remember that either. So, yes, Hoagie coming over to get up, get up his gas. He's going to put down his expansion very soon, I think. He's trying to get on a little bit more pressure this game. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to go for speedlings here just to deny scouting for as long as he can. But Flash is still in here with his initial scout. He's going to know when Hoagie is uh yes hoagie has already put down his base but that won't be up for a while so he's going to hang in and see if hoagie's going for the same strategy the same uh type of spire strategy that he went for in the last game which is very very likely players in these uh, kinds of rounds they tend to go for the same build over and over and over which makes players like hoagie very predictable if they don't decide to go for a five pool or something of quick layer coming up once again. So yeah, I think Flash could pretty much assume that Hoagie's going to go for the same build. Even though Hoagie could change things up, go for a lurker rush of some kind. I think it's most most likely going to be Mutilus Harass once again. But Hoagie's coming down. He sees that Flash has not put down his command center just yet, but that doesn't mean he's gonna plop that doesn't mean he's not gonna plop it down. He's building it right now. He's gonna float it over into the natural area. And he thinks that he has enough Marines to defend that base, going for a very early base. This is actually the same build from Flash, so I was making fun of Huggy for going for the same build. But Flash definitely uh, 
definitely goes for the same kinds of builds in these kinds of series too. I kind of miss watching Flash go for epic cheese like uh, his game against Everett in the Bacchus OSL. But hey, whatever. Flash can go for whatever build he wants, including the fantasy build and where he'll completely fail. But yes, the Spire coming up right now for Hoagie. And Flash was in here long enough to see that. Uh, he wasn't he didn't get to scout the Spire in the last game, I think. But now he's in here. He sees that Spire. And he's going to know when Hoagie decides to go out for another base. He's going to try to make sure that this isn't two base uh, Mutilus. It could be two base all in Mutilus, but I don't think it is. But the sunk, two sunken colonies coming out right now. So Hoagie, he had his overlord in and he saw all of the Marines coming up. But now he sees the command center going down, so he's going to say to himself, hmm, he's probably not going to put on pressure until he has a couple medics out. So he's going to hang in, see if he sees the medics or fire bats or something that would indicate an academy, and then he'll decide to go down with his zerglings, pump some more zerglings, and defend his front. You see there is one medic in now for Flash, working off of two barracks. This is actually what I've seen a lot of Terrans go for against Zerg recently. This seems to be the new popular build, uh, which is actually an old popular build, to go for two racks, push, and put on a lot of early pressure, which is uh, kind of what Protoss have been trying to do to fight off Zerg recently. Early pressure, just to hold the Zerg back long enough to get your strategy going and to get your bases up, which is very, very important. And Hoki actually canceled his second sunken. Uh, seeing that the medic, medic marines, actually just the marines at the time, were not moving out, he decided just to cancel that until he really needs it. Of course, I'm not sh really sure what he has in the field to scout to, and see if those medic marines are moving up the base. He probably has a zergling or two down there, just running back and forth, seeing when everything is going to come up. But yeah, mute is out already for Hoki. Working off of two bases, this could be an all-in. I'm going to have to look and see if the second extractor is up for Hoagie, if he's going mining everything from the second extractor, mining all of his gas, because that definitely could indicate an all-in mutilist attack. And Flash, he might be prepared for this. He has one turret at his natural expansion. I think he probably has a few inside of his main right now. And he has his medic and marines ready. He is ready for this attack, I think. Either he scanned it or he saw the mutilist flying down the map. But he has his medic and marines uh, ready to run back and forth between the natural expansion and the main. I think he did see the mutilist because he's coming in here looking very suspicious that Ho Hoagie is going to try to attack the natural. But uh, two turrets coming down inside the natural. Another two turrets to protect the barracks and keep Hoagie from sniping uh, medic and marines that try to reinforce the other medic marine squad hoagie coming in trying to fight back with flash repairing that turret as long as he can trying to repair the second turret but the second turret going down but the marines arriving just in time medics are a little bit slower to catch up but yes yeah, some nice scv harassment there from hoagie 